What's up guys? This is the Brotherman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War Let's Play at the Kingdom of Portugal. And in this case, we have our North African army has landed to attack the uh, forces here in Tbilisi. We want to build this for these forces up to be a bit of a uh, a bit of a threat towards the Ottomans in case they want to uh, want to attack us. Um, but uh, yeah, the main thing is it's destroying one of our enemies. They don't have very much of a garrison. Actually, I'm curious actually if they were in their port, but apparently not. They, have a very, they don't have a very big garrison, but we are going to be quick climbing the bejesus out of them because native African infantry, I think melee, melee attack 4, melee defense 10, morale 5. Yeah, our troops are just, the bulk of our troops are just not as good, so we're going to need to offset that with our advantage in artillery. So let's take them on. Yeah, there's something to bear in mind. <laughs> it's part of the... Part of the payoff of having native troops, even though they are cheaper, they are just not as good. So you're definitely going to want to be a bit more careful when you uh, when you deploy them. So say if I was to deploy them against a full Russian army, that would it might not be the end of the world, but it might be a bit more problematic. And I would certainly rely on my artillery a lot more than I currently do, which is already a lot. But anyway, let's go on and take Tbilisi. Take Tbilisi, build a garrison, build a new religious building. Oops, sneeze incoming. There we go, okay. Get my guns up, get my howitzers up. So I'm not going to do any... Well, I say that. Let's do three African infantry plus a raw Cairo infantry guard to go through one breach. Two African infantry plus a Royal Cairo, a Royal Cairo infantry guard to go through one, another breach. Then we're going to use three units of line plus our Amazons to assault the wall on one flank. A horse guards hold position. Same with the general. You men get to work on the breach. I mean, how it says just shoot it whomever they want. To the centre, I mean, they've got their general and they've got mortars, but I'm not overly bothered about the mortars. If we destroy the bulk of their forces on land, then we don't have to worry about the mortars because we can advance up and destroy them pretty quick. So I'm going to speed up time to start knocking down some of the breaches. That's screwed with their movement a bit. Having some men stuck outside the wall and some inside the wall. Okay, so as is, as is tradition, let's try and deploy some of the units against forces that are behind the wall. Although we have given them orders during time compression, so let's see if they actually follow them. Hey, they did. And look at that, the result is that entire, almost that entire unit of the garrison line is just done. So much so, I'm going to give one of them a new order. There's no point continuing to waste shots against that. There we go. Foot artillery is still chipping away. Excellent. Ooh, some more great, <coughs> some more great hits there. Right. Soon this breach will be done. We're going to knock down, we're going to want to knock out both of them at the same time. Well, we're going to want to have both of them knocked down. We're going to lost some men collapse off of the wall. You want them both taken down so I can advance as quickly. Well, to be honest, I probably don't have to do that. If I run you guys up. Run over here, run up. These men walk up. We go. Just, don't, just make sure they do actually fire at what I want to fire at. Howitzers just keep unloading on the enemy, because by god there's, there's a reasonable chunk of them left, but not enough to actually stop us. So you say you're firing. There we go. 
No, they're deciding they're going to pick their own targets. So I suppose it's all this garbage in the middle that they're having trouble with. So let's halt and fire it well. Shoot it whoever you like. Yeah, the Royal Car Infantry Guards are the ones that are taking the hammering. Give everyone some orders to scale the wall. Probably want to take a cavalry unit over here. Okay, let's advance forward just a little bit. Keep the car infantry guard back because they're acting like it's a bit of a bit of a bomb magnet. To be honest, go and ceasefire, aim at that bastion. Let's get these men to salt the wall. That's what we wanted though. They're starting to push out, which means they will be able to be broken once they leave the confines of the fort. That's my cure other curiosier. Sending one on and a pushing one up. If I get my cassier here, they can just smash through this block here. Let's give them the order. You cease fire. Hit the breach, we might be vulnerable to some morale shenanigans, but the enemy is not in strength. So switch to round shot, engage the mortars at distance. I'm counting on my crossier just being able to barrel straight through the breach. Charge! New men attack the garrison line. Those men just continue to form up, but you men get involved. Curiosier, Curiosier. Ooh, get through, push through. Keep on pushing. So it takes a bit of a bit of manoeuvring of the cuirassier because they keep obviously they keep engaging, they keep bumping into Georgian troops here. So you need to keep right clicking and kind of draw them through to the point at which you can give them an order, which means they'll just run straight through. You may go for the gunners, then go for the general. Good stuff. See, look, look, they got so close, but because there's a few still stuck in the breach, you need to really tightly micro them to try and... This cavalryman stuck in the fort. If you keep tight enough control, enough of them will move to the point where... The fight at the breach is now the, the, the little one. Come on, you may need to get up here and help the uh, Royal Car Infantry Guards because they're winning, but are they winning fast enough?
The Amazons aren't really, shouldn't really be engaging, but let's send them across the bridge. It's thematic. Onward they go. Into the second regiment. They don't have bayonets, so that's something at least. My cuirassier will chew through their general unit, then we'll take control of the central square. So let's bring some native troops up. Ooh, we actually just <laughs> we destroyed this section here, which caused almost that entire unit to collapse. Let's engage the general's bodyguard with my infantry as well. These guys are just stuck. Like I give them an order, they kind of run around a bit. But they don't actually charge, and one thing they don't do is scale the wall. Push men up to form blockers. Make sure my foot artillery ceases fire. The Amazons, they charged across the gate here and have been, have been routed, understandably. Get the native African infantry on the, on the point. Nope, nope, wrong guys. Come on, get onto the wall. Go. The third have broken. Push on and attack the second. So yeah, you can control multiple units. So I've got two units grouped here. It's got an X, but if I right click, I'll still get the attack sound. African infantry just does not want to engage on the walls at any cost. Because look, now they're going to run over here and just stand still. Royal Car Infantry Guards have done all the heavy lifting. There we go. Big collapse of the enemy strength here. In you get, General. I, mean, I tried to make them engage those guys, but they decided to stop here. I want to see if they will mount the fire step, but apparently not. They're going to fire by fire a handful of muskets from the front. Yeah, they're being very useless. All these guys not doing anything. See, uh, look, they've been they've been not doing things enough that a regular unit of line infantry can route an infantry guard unit. But then again, they were quite outnumbered and depleted. But still, this this is this is not good. Oh well, at least the city's taken. Now we know. General trotting through the bodies. Excellent. Okay, so. That's Tbilisi taken. Let's repair it. Where I might combine. I'm, I'm not entirely happy with how they performed. So I'm going to combine some of the units together. I'm going to recruit a garrison guard unit. So Tbilisi is ours. They're very unhappy. And part of that unhappiness stems from the university. If we destroy that, they go from minus 16, they'll lose 13 public orders, that'll immediately become minus 3, but the next turn they'll lose a resistance to foreign occupation, so it'll be minus 2. And the nobles will be really happy with us regardless. So let's get rid of the Batumi shipyard. So now this small fleet can leave Crimea, because we've got a galley that can occupy Sevastopol. Or, actually, do I keep you as a shipyard? Maybe aspirationally. I guess some fifths recruiting, because we may end up having to fight the Austrians here. I mean, they shouldn't be able 
to take Ankara with one army. It took them, it should take them a very long time. Yeah, yeah. So we're ready. I don't want to push and attack this unit because that could open up Cherkask from these guys to run north. I want a few more turns for you guys to build up your defenses. You can now move, although. Excellent. Our oh, conversion is ongoing. Vaez de Nova. Let's go to Batumi. I want to explore. Because I was thinking about pushing north, but I want to actually instead control this choke point here. So Dagestan, Protectorate of the Dutch. Again, that's another army that will it will be taken care of. No. Oh, I, so I left click to get rid of the order. Dis disembark the troops. So you men, Alberto Salazar, you are going to go after Astrakhan. Although it's going to take you an awful long time to get there. Maybe I should have, should have let you land here. Oh well. Anyway. You're in good shape. You don't really have that many enemies in the med. So I am inclined to send you guys to Portsmouth. Your naval recruitment's ongoing. Yeah, we've still got infantry recruitment and so on. You guys were recruited as part of this package. There we go. Pop in. Then over into the Americas, because we are right on the air cusp of the Plains Nations. So, Plains Nations. Yeah, protector of the Dutch, so I'm afraid, the Netherlands. You may not be here for very long. Yeah, you're going to go up and attack. Reykjavik, I believe. Yep. You're ready just to barge straight through. They're not gonna. They're not gonna stop us. They may potentially be frustrating around Hanover, but that's not a problem. You are exp expanding. They don't really have a navy that can stop us. I suppose this sloop going to Newcastle. The militia going to Edinburgh. Right. We do still have the Inuit to the north. I'm fairly sure. Don't they have the same deal as the other small nations? Yeah, the Dutch have collected protectorates. Oh, I'm a goon. Because Dagestan's protectorate of the Dutch. You are going to get to here. Such a goon. So you may replenish, although you probably need to all replenish a little bit more. Good. Yeah, and you're positioning to take on. I remember we're moving big moves on all of the Dutch allies. Morocco. Morocco, Denmark, Dagestan. The Inuit. So let's go to the Dutch. Yeah, we're moving on all of their protectorates. Nice. So we can crank out a few end turns here because we've got a bit of things, a few things that need to happen. And if we attack the protectorates, we can declare, we can fight against the Dutch. Not that the Dutch actually have any allies like Austria. Ooh, wealth of nations for diamond formation. Ooh, brilliant. No. Our research apparatus is so strong, we do not need your technology, Ottomans. We are well on the way to completing the research tree. 
to the point where I could probably experiment with slowing it down. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah. yeah. this is gonna happen. <laughs> in this is gonna happen in Crimea until I Persia has declared war on me. I'm tempted to not call my allies in because they their ally probably isn't going to join them. Yeah. I see. Interesting. Peace with call and no. Okay, so my execute order 66 plan relies more on this army getting up to snuff and attacking Taki. You're out of range. So we may lose Tbilisi in our native army. Which I may even just pull you out. Pull you out so we don't lose them. Chikask is still recruiting. Okay, right. Let's get some construction done. Although technically... There we go. Churchill's got their port done. Technically speaking, I don't really need to focus on it quite as much as I have been because now we are experiencing a glut in the money supply. Well, not the money supply. Our econ economic growth is significant. Oops. Well, tabbed. I've attached. I have... Apologies, guys. When I clicked off the screen, my game wouldn't come back, so I had to load up my autosave, end the turn. But the interesting thing about this end turn phase is the Persians declared war on me, but they didn't actually come after me. Which is interesting. It's, it's interesting in a churning out line infantry sort of way. Okay. Um, but yeah, so normally the game's quite good when that happens, it, for me anyway, it usually is fairly good at coming back, but this time apparently not. So let's go back and again, keep on doing some building. Good, 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 good. Cobble roads in the dawn. Let's get some metal roads. And over. Let's get a steam dry dock. Martinique needs metal roads. So you were going over here. You were going to go over here. Four units. Yep, and that'll be you full, ready to land. We're ready to attack Tangier. You're still going up to Portsmouth. Excellent. Uh, okay, you can get those two units and the Lancer Guard go to someone else. We might want to do over here in Amsterdam. One to fight this army, which will bring in these guys plus the garrison, then one to go in and knock out Amsterdam itself. Ah, Mikele. Although that means you've got two units too many, which is going to be these two units militia and provincial cavalry. They are not what I'm trying, they are not the sort of image I'm trying to create here. Again, just bounce around auto resolving some of these attacks. You push on towards Astrakhan because that's where the bulk of the enemy forces are being generated from. Chikask is going to have defenses in one turn. And then a reasonable garrison to defend itself in the meantime. Hopefully Tbilisi. Actually, if we can get line infantry, I may. 
Actually, no, I can't really condense much more than that. Or unless I condense my guards guards together, then I can recruit a garrison guards unit plus a line infantry unit, and then that'll be this army full. Letter of demands from Georgia. Now they've got over it pretty quick. Trade agreement cancelled with Persia. It's just quite interesting that they elected to uh, not attack us. Let's send some cavalry forward. Raid the Pleasure Gardens and come back. Let's upgrade our former university to a church school. Can repair the farmland. Lots of this stuff is going to get built. Okay, we're not far off. Oh yes! And <laughs> I'm I'm a dummy. Uh Saxony. Saxony, Saxony, Saxony. Offer them another 10 grand. To help grease the wheels, get Berlin repaired. Ooh, Breslau. Put Breslau into siege for now. They're tip top generals in here. The Schumann Southeast. So you're a bit isolated, but I'm kind of hoping they push out. They are depleted, after all, for the most part. Okie dokie, right. Let's sit and turn. Yeah, at some point, Austria will declare war on us for, the, for what we've done for Saxony. The Ottomans may also become a problem now. Although they've got, they've got a direct route to Istanbul. I could step in and save it, but I don't think I'm going to. Like, I could block the straight off and prevent them from being able to cross. They are fortifying on the eastern side of the river. Excellent. Yes, I will put up a valiant defence. This is all part of pecking away Central Europe, or Central slash Eastern Europe, <laughs> to form a Saxony super state. And I am just going to pump them full of money to try and make that happen quicker. So let's get busy. This will be quite good because it'll push more Russian units east, then we can take Gdansk, give that to Saxony, while keeping our armies nearby to hold them for them. Okay, form a standard defensive line ish. I'm not entirely sure where their reinforcements are going to come in. Hold on, let's make sure I group you guys together and then take my last two units. They're not my last two, because I need to deploy you. Infantry units and some skirmishes, although they're probably the other way around. So then I've got Mikule and two marines to rapidly redeploy if things do not go how we planned. Howitzers out to play. And the howitzers to attack their infantry, their cavalry concentrations. So those are the most dangerous ones for now. Lots of misfires. Oh, good hits on the Streltsy. This flank is going to push up, but it may draw enemy cavalry to them because of the skirmishes. Engaging the Viviani Struzzi. The 
commit my regiment of horse. Gunners switch to canister shot when the. Oh, you guys aren't even limbered up. Brown shot the cavalry. Skirmishers, get ready to fire. Your lives may depend on it. Retarget my howitzers. Pull my regiment of horseback. Marines! Blast them! Large enemy concentration, where's my cavalry? Form square! Bring my marines over here. They go to the Vibioni Streltsy, but they are shattered, so keep attacking that unit of Vibioni Streltsy. Marines get in against the Dragoons. Keep engaging, enemy cavalry's being knocked back. Go on, Marines, go for the Dragoons. You guys can then form line and engage traditionally. Oh, excellent shot, sir. Their engineers are forming square. Kotak's just killed a mercenary. Who's going to have him next? Okay, now we can start to close the door. Get over here, Marines. They love a scrap, the Marines do. Except for this guy with the, with the banner. Although he's got massively strength forearms back. So the new guy switched around shot, engage. The enemies to the rear. The Marine's going to tear through the mercenaries. Go for the Bjorni Streltsy. Although the Grenadier Guards are charging, but they're getting gunned down. Down to charge. not run my general straight through the line let's kind of run him around a bit because we want to do some pursuits we have a lot of enemies here we want to start we want to do some good damage to them charging the Vibioni Streltsy to help try and free up our other cavalry unit quicker Oh, it's a switched around shot. Engage the Vibioni Streltsy there. Try break away one cavalry unit. Come on, shatter them. Shattered. Marines, you are needed again. The Grenadiers are still alive.
Come on, General, you gotta run. Ignore the enemy cavalry. We're gonna start blinking at it with our... Ooh, actually, you would be good to kill. The Grenadier Guard. So what we want to do is... We might have just gunned down a bunch of our own guys, but whatever. Kill the enemy general. Just keep pushing up. There we go, everyone's routing. Out. Continue. Cease fire all the guns. Keep on running. Let's try to follow this unit because they're the furthest away from the action. Although it's theoretically, I suppose that means that they're the ones you less want to follow. Doesn't really matter. This will be a very punishing battle for the enemy regardless. Let's help these guys try kill mercenaries. Just keep on right clicking. General's still active. Ah, uh, they escaped. You guys, you guys go for that line of the unit. Let's try and make the general kill the 16th. There we go. They are. They have run away, run away a bad direction. There we go. Nice. The Russians have been annihilated. Back, you devils, go. Ooh, and they're sallying out of Breslau. Very well. Sally, good sirs. Sally, indeed. Yeah, I want to try and create a Saxon super state to help us fight against the Austrians in future. Let's deploy over here. Although I do like this hill. To be honest, I might just make it simple. Deploy a giant artillery battery. Dump all my infantry in front of it. Keep the grenadiers back. Keep the guerrillas back. Something like that. Uh, get my howitzers back. So do something like... These units of line cover the right. Grenadiers cover the left. So ultimately, a lot of the time, what you're actually doing is your infantry. The purpose your infantry serves is to hold the enemy up while your artillery does the killing. In my opinion. Your, your infantry, I mean, granted, they do do a lot of the killing, that's fair enough. Oh, they hit some of my artillery because they were aiming for my hussars and missed. I know, don't, not all militia. That's an all militia left flank. Okay. 
Still I'm hard to down, which is a bit unfortunate. But that's all. Oh, they still got a unit of marines. So the marines are always good ones to quick climb, but you gotta be really careful. Because they do uh, they do make it to your lines. They are quite resolute. So we've knocked some holes in the line. Let's check everything's okay, it's just a gen general. Sound bug, who's that? Regiment of Dragoons, but they're not charging. Got my carabiner on the flank, they are ranged. Let's see who's that over here? This is their proper infantry, well, proper, relative term. Cossacks and regular line. Regiment of Dragoons is elected to test our firepower. Okay, I may use my quick claiming hearts to engage their line infantry first and foremost. Hits. Although I'm not a massive fan of how they are <laughs> pushing one edge of my line. Get my grenadiers to be fire at will, that would definitely help. Fusiliers. Um, so this is what I mean. They are now they're going to be pushing my blank, and if you were just happily quick climbing them, you'd forget. Although the morale isn't super good, Let's just charge my cavalry and charge the grenadiers in. That should deal with them. Skirmishers. There we go. Charge the grenades into the next unit. The carabiner keep charging the militia to make sure they make sure they shatter because these are classic units for just coming keep on coming back well, my grenadiers are going to charge with the back of these militiamen here yeah see there some of them are already back well, Hussars chase down the grenadier guards 10th regiment of militia looking a little bit upset. Regiment of Horses has been chopped down quite significantly here. Get involved. Ooh. Actually, let's switch my howitzers to round shot, engaging the Viviani Strazzi behind the line. Yeah, the marines are getting involved now, that's a bit sketchy. I need to knock out some of these militia units so I can focus on surrounding the militia the uh, marines. Get my grenadiers to carve their way through one unit of militia. Yeah, General's bodyguards pursuing our 
Hussars. The Hussars are pursuing their Grenadier Guards. Another unit of militias coming back. So we're going to break one. Let's see if we can break the other before the fourth arrive. If not, we're going to position the Irish Brigade over here for support. All my artillery focus on blowing a hole in the fort. Oh, that's not good. Our, our, our hussars are going to break. We're going to keep my artillery firing. It's a concentration of enemy cavalry. We don't really want to miss out on. Yeah, there they go. In which case, line infantry form at skirmishes. Get back. Commit fresh troops, eventually their militia will break. But I may have to get you to start picking away their marines. There goes the 10th regiment. Okay, right. You men need to push up onto the flank of this infantry engagement. Get my cavalry to focus on the militia, get my grenadiers to focus on the marines, and get my light brigade, Irish brigade to focus on the mari on the militia. Switch back to quick line, start engaging their infantry line units. Or the line infantry units. Cavalry broke. Swing the door shut again. Including with my skirmishes. This time with fire at will on. The militia are much more veteran than their marines are. Ah, there goes one marine. Bring my general over here. You're being hit on the flank by Cossack infantry, but that's the only infantry unit remaining. Push my line up. Both on the verge of breaking. Cavalry, you chase them down. So when it isn't cavalry, get back into the fight. Excellent. How it's a switched around shot and blink at the enemy guns. Keep engaging the marines. You will teach them to engage us. All my guns focus on the general's bodyguard. goes the Cossacks. Let's begin to move up. But I think in general it's time to speed up time. Kill the last of these militia. No, they're going to escape.
You men both go after the Cossack infantry. Engage the demi cannons quick. You may engage the seekers, get the howitzers to engage the enemy cavalry. Continue, but it's not going to last for that long. Come on, there's not many of you, but you can kill two guys. So, where's that? An artillery crewman, one of the last ones on the field. Got him. Now the last ones are over here. Ah, they are going to make it. <laughs> Let's get out of here, buddy. They're all coming after us. But still. That was, that was a real messy action. Not a bad ratio. Jeez, it is. Did good. 397 kills. You can raid if you like. Every turn that we don't get attacked. Ooh. Ooh, dear. Uh, this is going to be messy. Uh, ooh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Looking at the time, I'm probably going to call it there because I'm on 30 odd minutes now. My previous one was 52, so this is going to be at least 25 minutes ish. Uh, ah, no, screw it. Let's fight it now. <laughs> Do it. Hopefully, we've still got our breaches. If we've got our breaches, this becomes a lot easier because they're just an army of Kizilbashi infantry, and then we can just mow them down as they come through the breach. But if we don't have a breach, things may become a bit more tricky because then we're going to have a uh, we're going to be assaulted or we can make our own breach by whichever one they're shooting at we've got the rain which is lame there's a breach sweet So I'm going to deploy two sets of guns. Actually, I might deploy one set down here. Okay. My weak units inside the, the house. They do love fighting over these houses. Maybe deploy you back just a little bit. Actually, I probably want to use my native troops for the covering the breach. So that's my those are my breach defense forces. Everybody else Wants to man positions on the walls to help defend in case we get any sneak attacks. Although generally I would expect them to... I mean, they might make a breach, in which case then I want to keep these guys. Got my cavalry. That'll be useful. A unit of guns is a reserve. I've got my howitzers. And my general... Enemy, art enemy artillery is on the right flank. Let's speed up time. Speed up time just so they push up. Where are they making a breach? If anywhere. Ooh, first thing I want to do is make sure these guns are... Yeah, fire it will off. Do not like how they are... 
running for the walls. I'm hoping they are going to run around the around the the uh, town to attack the breach from the other direction. Who are you shooting at? Got some units of musketeers that are already trying to get in. Get my foot artillery to keep blasting it with canister shot. So this is the big test. This is this is the decider if we win or lose. Once they make a once they've grappled up, do they push? And they do, so it's gonna be It's gonna be a loss there. No, that's what you wanna see. Yes, they're gonna Yes, the AI is is silly. So they're scaling the walls, they're going to attack, but their attack logic says, well why do that when you can just run through the breach? Upset for maybe over here, that won't work. And we're getting some chugs. Human may come through here because this is all. So once you destroy this bastion, this all becomes open. I mean, we're chugging. Well, I'm not quite sure why. Ah, okay, we've got guys. Hammers. Oh, they're they're, they're definitely going to die. There it appears they are going to try and scale our walls. Is it here? Okay, uh, this is going to be... This is going to be tricky. Corners are always difficult. I think you end up needing to take your guns. Take your howitzers if you got them. Attack ground like here. You're going to cause a lot of friendly fire damage, but there's not a lot that can be done. So you need to hit these guys. And rely on the AoE effect going through the bottom. Send people through the breach and then we can start knocking them out. You men are going to have to come back as well. Infantry. Yeah, keep on going after them. Yeah, we need that quick climb to, to drop but then again because it gets so frame ratey it takes long even longer for them to load so they've captured this gatehouse so my cuirassier hold so you had orders to get up here but you have elected not to Capture the gatehouse back. See, like you guys, come on. They're stuck. Come on, how it says fire. Yeah, if, if for whatever reasons these guys, when they decide to try and attack the corner. So you just keep dropping quicklime and thin them out.
fairly sure this unit's now useless because when they get when they get stuck like that, it's generally game over. And then you guys aren't going where I want you to go either. Games like this, I can, that, that's, I I completely get it when people say Empire Total War's a buggy mess because like. Like all the shenanigans I'm having to do here just to fight a fairly bog standard battle. Yeah, look, these guys are stuck. And if it was running at normal time, I could have probably had a better shot at trying to free them up, but. I suppose not. You're going all the way around. There we go. Interesting. If I give them... I mean, if they start pushing in more directions, then yeah, we're going to be... It's going to be over quick. One of my howitzers attack there, another howitzer unit attack the 10th to the rear. Don't care about the units to the front, because they're not attacking us. Don't just walk up here and run! Africans need two infantry needs to get over here as well. But they don't want to. I don't, I don't know what it is about African native infantry that doesn't want to manoeuvre on walls. But they don't. Same with these militia. I wanted them to form. Like, look. Not some good holes in that unit. They're in against my gunners. Run my gunners away. Although they're probably going to be dead already. Hey, no they aren't. Let's see, if you guys did things properly, you'd be up here pouring fire onto these militia units right about now. Take the gatehouse to the rear. This 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 is incredibly frustrating. Why are you not? I think this might be the f I'm, this might be the first time I just quit a battle out of pure frustration. Like this is incredibly annoying. Like, look, why are you not run? Run! I know there's one guy here. Is that it? Is that is that what's screwing you up? This one lancer? Then kill him. You guys attack the 7th and the 10th. I think that might be it. They're getting... They, there's one guy, like, up here that they're 
that's attacking them and they're it's interfering massively with their pathfinding. Now one thing I don't want is for their pathfinding to make them run down the wall. That happens a lot. Well there we go, we've defended this route to the rear. My gunners are electing to pursue the end. Oh no, those are my um, horse teams. Let's retarget my howitzers. This is always going to be tricky, but if you get a good hit, that's going to kill loads of them. Like that. Go on, Militia, they're wavering. Break them! Oh no, no, they've recovered. Can attack the fifth, because they're the ones that are slowing us down. You've got to remember that Kizilbashi units aren't actually that grey in melee combat. I don't want to push my cavalry out. My god. They're actually pushing through the breach like I wanted them to do all along. There goes the 28th. First. Pushing in. Do stuff, you bunch of cretins. I mean, you're in perfect... She might push you guys out, because then you might be able to break the fourth. In which case, then, how it says all aim at this absolute mess right there. Militia versus the 35th might be a bit dodgy on their own. Yeah, let's begin to quick line this because there's at least a bunch of cavalry and stuff at the bottom. Still running around. Native lances are coming in. At least we're depleting them a little bit. Because it might be a bad, bit of a bad idea to have my Trassiera here because now they're getting attacked by other sorts. And there goes the native lances. Quick climb them. We are getting picked off. Get back inside before we lose control of the gate. I mean, we have control of the gate, but you are electing to not run in. But you guys should be. Oh, some of you, they're stuck in, in the wall. I mean, I definitely get why people do things like just delete forts in Empire Total War. And it always feels like now it's raining, it's always that bit more frustrating. So the door's currently open, but they should shut. You've got men stuck inside as well. I 
you have to keep hitting this concentration here, because that's... I mean, like, these guys are okay, because they're going to just be mowed down by our men in the courtyard. But these guys... They're all still here. There's still loads of them clustered down on the bottom of the... bottom of the wall. the gate. Get my cavalry behind cover. He overshot all the quick climb, that's super useful. Here comes the Zemadari horsemen. They're beginning to dis beginning to uh, get off of the gate. What's this coming down vertically? Keep engaging the horsemen. Keep just oh, come on, we're gonna knock out the lan the native lancers, good, they're broken again. You've broken them, so charge up the gates. If you are physically capable of running up a gate, up a slope. You know, this this is officially going to be the first battle I cannot be asked. That this is the the logic in this battle is so frustrating. I oh, I don't know why they're not. Nothing is responding the way it's supposed to respond. I don't mind losing it because we're going to take it back immediately. But nothing was going. I mean, Empire things. I know things can be tricky to maneuver, but. My God, that was just torture. And I'm going to I'm going to let you tick slowly away into obscurity in there. Oh, by God, yeah, that was that was a nightmare. Keep pushing on, Drastrakan. Your garrison is continuing to be recruited. Yeah, it's the first time I've ever, out of just sheer anger, at how rubbish a game system is especially empire even empire yeah that was bad can you guys leave crimea minus seven no you cannot i don't really want to not i don't really want to leave it without having well i don't really want to start just recruiting militia crimea can't my house okay we've got that done On going, Carolinas. That was that was you. Curacao Governor's Building. Okay, so you guys are positioned up by Yankton. You guys should, although actually, take all of you except your militia. Uh, two American mercenaries. Let's try and get two bows. I'll get two marines. That's the last marines I can recruit. It's got to be done. Two, four, six. That gets us up to nine. So then let's get a native musket auxiliary. There they are. Excellent. So, in general, let's upgrade the theatre. You're also 
going to be positioned down by Gibraltar, ready to push across towards Madrid. You're going into Madrid. Not pushing across to Madrid, pushing across to Morocco. Okay, so you're at full strength. You're not at full strength, but you will be. To be honest, you can push up towards Flanders already. Because that's who you're going to be supporting. Right. So I think it's probably not going to be a better time to kick this off. Although, I don't... Eh, let's... Okay, let's get another turn down so that Cherkask is there's a bit more of a garrison going for it. But I think we are going to be ending this episode on starting our war against the, the Dutch and Friends. <laughs> They've just completely run around them. Are they going to engage the Austrians or are they going to just try and... Ooh. Yeah, they should get smashed. So, let's see what Russia's going to do. More of the same. I'm happy with them raiding and breaking things. It's not as if we have a shortage of money. Savoy are our allies. I mean, they've been really long-standing allies for a, a huge amount of time. Persia's not sallying. We've got to get ready because they are probably going to be sending stack after stack after stack after us. So we're going to want to really fortify that part of the world. For the most part, I think we've got our recruitment nailed down. And our construction's doing pretty good. There we go, so many top tier buildings. Uh, you should have been replenishing, but I didn't. Keep besieging Breslau. Yeah, it's up here at Cherkask. Just keep on churning out two line infantry units a turn. Roberto Salazar. Rightio. So. Instead of kicking off the Georgian War, the uh, Dutch War, sorry, I'm going to get revenge on the Georgians, the Persians rather, for this ludicrous display of a battle they fought last time. But looking at the timer, we definitely overran. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for some Persian revenge. See you, everyone.